Comedy Box proudly presents a film by Ken Russell showing the softer and more sentimental side of that monster of the master race, Adolf Hitler. A kitten for Hitler. A heartwarming story that ends in tragedy but starts at Christmas in downtown Manhattan, 1941. Hey, Mom, who is that funny old man stealing stuff from the house? It's no robber, precious. That's Santa Claus. He brings presents to all the good little boys at Christmas time. It's the season of goodwill. Am I a goy, Mommy? No, Lenny, you're Jewish. Does that mean I won't get a train set? Let's go get some bagels, Lenny. Goodwill is in short supply today as the Nazi jackboot grinds Europe underfoot as Adolf Hitler continues his ruthless march of terror. Hey, why don't they like that man, Mommy? Shh. Hitler is evil personified, my son. Is he a goy, Mommy? Hey, what will Santa Claus bring him for Christmas, Mommy? Nothing. He's the last man in the world to ever get a present. No wonder he's a bad man. People dislike him so much. Hey, a nice present might change him. Can a leopard change his spots? He can try. That's my boy. I've taken a Christmas present to Uncle Adolf. Heck, soon you'll loving little Lenny. <gasps> See how our brave little stowaway defies hell and high water as he sets sail for war-torn Europe. See how the valiant little lad survives 50 days in an open boat, clutching tight the present he prays will melt the Fuhrer's hardened heart and bring about world peace. Across battle-scarred terrain, guided only by his unnerving sense of direction, Lenny finally reaches his fiercely guarded destination. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hitler fiddles while Europe burns. heart touched by the glorious sacrifice from a son of the land of the free. Das 
but unlike so many sad cases before him, Lenny's tragic story does not end there. Watch as the forces of good triumph over Hitler's evil empire. The eagle's nest is overthrown, and Lenny's valiant act of humanity is revealed by none other than the personal chambermaid of Ava Brown. in Brooklyn. Summoned personally to an audience with the president, Rachel carries her late lamented little boy up the steps to the White House. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. And it's a great pleasure to shake the hand of the lady who must be the proudest mom in these United States today. And it is also my privilege, ma'am, to pin the highest award possible to the youngest American citizen ever to qualify for a Purple Heart, so nobly deserved. Coming soon to a website near you.